Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos like the one you're about to see here. for tuning in first of all and this is kind of the part two of what I'm doing with my side income paycheck which was uh, just yesterday so today is Friday May 29th and I did get paid from Grubhub yesterday so if you're new here Grubhub is something I have been doing on the side because my husband's been laid off and my job has been furloughed so we did need to find some new sources of income and figure out what we could do just to make ends meet during this time so it's a little bit difficult right now but we are getting back on track because Grubhub has been pretty lucrative in my opinion um you know, we, uh, we've been doing the best we can with it. So anyway, I have my cash envelopes here. So these are all ready to go. And I also have my sinking funds envelopes. I'm going to plot this all out with you. These are my sinking fund envelopes. And these are the ones that I'm using for variable expenses, um, i.e. cash envelopes. This is the cash that I just got out of the bank. There is $669 here. And I am going to be allocating that toward all of these different, um, these funds and I have my calculator here and then I have my budget planner. So I just did a video on this and I am absolutely so excited about this system, the way I set it up. Um, recently I just did a new system in my uh, spiral notebook and I did like these tracker pages for paychecks and bills and all kinds of things. So here's the one for paydays and when bills are due and things like that. I think I'm going to end up redoing these on regular happy planner paper because this planner is very thin and um, you know just not quite as durable. Um, and honestly guys this looks like a lot of like writing out things and whatever and it is but I like doing this stuff as a hobby. So um, um, if any time I have, you know, free time and even while I'm watching TV, you know, doing something like this, it just, it's relaxing to me. Any type of, you know, paper crafting or journaling and writing things down is always relaxing for me. And what I will do is I'll give you a, a little peek. This is my month on two pages um, listed really nicely in my opinion. I have some goals at the top and then I have my sinking funds here that I was going to check in every Monday. And then I have my paychecks and things like that. So um, that's going to work really quite well for me. So this was last week. As you can see, this is a full overview of the way I did everything last week. So I'm going to do it exactly the same for this week, except this week I only have one pay coming in. So this is two. I got my regular paycheck, which which is every two weeks last week, and then I got my first Grubhub paycheck. What I did, I already did my paycheck to paycheck planning video. So now we're going to get into the sinking funds and we'll be good to go. What we're going to do first, and I should have taken out the previous page just so I can kind of copy it since the system is new for me I want to make sure that I'm doing it the same way each time in my previous video it was storming so badly and I was like oh my gosh this is crazy like I was so afraid you guys were going to be able to like hear every single thunder and lightning episode but um we got through it so here what I'm doing just for the sake of um explaining this just because it is new I am using my sinking funds um area which is in the happy planner vertical it is this is the big happy planner too i should mention that it's four boxes across so i sectioned it off with washi tape that way it looks like this is all one section even though you can still see the line you know, the first thing i'm going to list um, in the sinking funds section is obviously the name of the fund and then i'm going to list previous balance and after that i'm going to write that here and then I'm going to write add or subtract just like you see here and then the new balance so pretty easy and you know it's it's pretty basic and self-explanatory so the previous balance for Christmas was in fact I didn't even finish that one now I didn't go over this with you guys on camera um, but I did write it out just because I wanted last week to be the first full week of this so I have 170 and I'm gonna recheck these in my envelopes and make sure that my figures match the cash on hand and I like double checking myself anyway I don't know it just makes me feel better you know because then 
I know that I haven't made mistakes and I do make a lot of mistakes when I film videos, but I usually catch myself off camera and by then it's too late, but at least I correct my own system. But um, every time I do that, I just cringe because I'm like, oh, come on, Erin. All right, so the previous balance for my Christmas sinking fund was $370, which I was pretty proud about because my goal, and I actually wrote this in my May monthly goals, was to have um, $50 per month saved. So I figured $50 per month, that would give me um, $600 uh, by the time Christmas was here. And I thought that was, you know, a pretty good amount. But I am a little bit ahead of the game. And my Christmas fund is also going to be for Black Friday. So anything we buy on Black Friday. So I figure, you know, at least for me and in my head, Black Friday is like the official kickoff of Christmas shopping. Um, once in a blue moon, I will start earlier, but that's not very often that I, you know, get ahead of myself like that, but it happens. It just doesn't happen very often to get these, these envelopes out and we're going to do this together. And that's usually why I do these videos separately, just because they can be a little bit linked to the Christmas fund. And then I will also figure out how much I'm stuffing in each one. I have a little side note. So... For Christmas, I'm gonna be adding another $50. So here is my little um, tally sheets, and these are just like little like registers that I make myself. So it says I should have 370 in here. So let's go ahead and just count that. So 100, 152, um, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, and 370. All right, so we are going to add $50. And actually what I should have done first is count this out just to show you that it is $669. So let me do that. So we have 100, 200, 300, 350, 4, 450, 5, 550, 20, 40. <laughs> I was gonna try and be smart and whatever, but that's okay. All right, so we were at 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, 640, 650, 660, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So 669. What I was trying to do was like make it even so it wasn't like 550, 570. I don't know why that bothers me, but it just does. Um, so let's go ahead and put a $50 bill with Christmas and actually I'm going to move this back. Let's put all the money up there where it is easily grabbed, easy to grab. So what a mess this desk is, good Lord. All right, so then we have our ones, okay. All right, so I just added another 50. So I have 51, 52, 50, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80, 4, and 420. All right, so I added 50. So now that's going to be 420 and total. And this is going to be on May 28th. All right, so Christmas Club is done in the envelope. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write that. Actually, I should just do that first. So 50. And then New Balance. is 420. Okay, so let's do the dogs. Now we're going to add $74. Now you're probably wondering like why such an odd amount? It's because my paycheck with Grubhub was 669. So I wanted to use every dollar of that, except the change. The change I just left in the bank. But they do direct deposit into my bank. So I went and got out 669. 
So the previous balance for the dogs was, let's see, 170. In fact, guys, I think I am gonna do the cash envelope separate because this takes a really, really long time. So we're gonna do 170 plus 74 is 244. So that's gonna be our new balance. All right, and then the previous balance for savings, and I'll stuff these once I'm done with all that. Previous balance for savings is 820. Okay, so we'll write that. And I know some of you like the whole process, which is why I take the time to do it like this. Um, so I, that's kind of the reason why I don't fast forward or skip over things because this is really, like I said, all part of the process. All right, so the new balance for savings will be 920. And I just have to say, like, I'm very, very excited and thrilled that I'm able to do any of this at all. So the previous balance for emergency was 920. And then I am adding 150. And then the new balance. I'm, I'm just so grateful for Grubhub because it allows me to do my day job. And then it's going to be 1070. Oops. And then kind of like make my own hours around my own schedule and then have my husband help me, um, which I'm also grateful for. It just makes everything a whole heck of a lot easier and allows us to just have extra money coming in right now. So I'm really grateful for it because had I gotten a job, you know, maybe somewhere else, I, I don't know that I would have made as much money. I, I don't think I would have. I mean, I'm not saying for sure, but I don't think I would have. I think that this pays pretty well, in my opinion. But, um, you know, it just, it just depends. So whatever works, right? So let's go with the dogs. So the previous balance is 170 so um that's what we had there so as you can see we started off with 115 we added a couple times and i brought it to 170 so let's count that so we have 20 40 60 80 1 20 40 50 60 65 66 67 68 69 and 70. all right so we are going to add 74 dollars so I am going to take a 50, and, or I'm sorry, a 50, a 20, and then four ones. So one, two, three, and four. All right, so let's put that all together. So I'm gonna put it in order of denomination because you guys know I have to do that. Um, and then I did receive a comment um, from a viewer who said that she was actually a bank teller. So hello to you, first of all. Um, she was a bank teller and they had to go so fast sometimes, um, which was why she sometimes didn't have like all the bills in order because I had said, I wonder how, why sometimes I get them at the bank that way. Cause I would think, you know, if you're a banker, you would want everything like just so, like I, I just imagine them to be like incredibly precise. But she said, sometimes it's just way too fast and too busy. Uh, which I totally get. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 230, 235, 236, 237, 238, 239, 240, 241, 42, 43, and 44. So 244 dollars. All right, so that's perfect. So I'm going to put plus 74 right here. And I'm going to put today's date because I wish I would have been like dating this by the day, but that's okay. So we have 244. All right, so that's pretty good for the dogs. In fact, our one dog, Olive, she has to go to the vet next Friday and she's having a hard time walking, like her back legs are giving out on her. And she also has like, um, kind of like an irritated skin spot 
and I just feel really bad for her. So we made her an appointment because we know that she has arthritis. And so far, our doctor has been telling us to give her like some over-the-counter stuff like glucosamine and aspirin and all that kind of stuff. So savings, I'm going to add a hundred dollars so i'm going to take a hundred dollar bill and i'm going to put that up here um but anyways she just needs to go because when she's been walking we're looking at 820 when she's been walking her back legs have been giving out sometimes and that's just horrible so 820 so 51 52 53 20 40 60 80 4 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 710, 720, 730, 740, 750, 760, 770, 780, 790, 800, 810, and 820. And then we are going to add this $100 bill right to the back. So it's in order. And now we have 920. So I may end up having to get different bills for all these because my cash envelopes are just going to be, um, you know, kind of like too fat and I don't want them to split because I have like a lot of smaller bills on some of these. So I may end up going to the bank and just asking them to swap them out for like larger bills. Um, I guess that's a good problem to have, right? I mean, I guess so. So, all right, so that's our savings. And I am definitely doing cash envelopes separate. It's entirely too long. All right, so the last one that I'm going to do is for emergency funds. And I'm adding 150 into that. So I have my emergency envelope here before we had 920. So let's just double check ourselves. So we have 100, 200, 300, 4, 5, 6, 7, 20, 40, 60, 80, 8, 20, 40, 60, 80, 9, and 9, 20. So I need to pull a $100 bill and I need to pull a $50 bill. So that is going to give us a brand new total of 1070. So I'm going to put the 100 in the back and I guess I don't have any other 50, so I'll put that right there. And now we have 1070. All right, so plus 150. And again, I just have to say, without Grubhub as a side hustle, not only would we be struggling to make ends meet for variable expenses, um, you know, just like <sighs> grocery shopping, dogs, pet care, miscellaneous things, we would be in trouble and we would not be doing sinking funds at all. So this has really, really been helpful. In fact, I mean, I'd like to keep doing it indefinitely. Um, you know, maybe just the weekends, once I go back to work in person, um, you know, and once things get back to normal, you know, just like pick up a day or two here um, because it's nice extra money. And if I could make enough money to at least offset my car payment every month, that would be ideal because with me being furloughed, I'm losing more than my car payment. So that's really difficult. So we have 1070 here. So we'll add up all of our sinking funds just to see how much we have in savings. So we have 420 plus 244 plus 920 plus 1070. 2654. Pretty nice. Now, if there was ever an emergency where, you know, I totally needed money and, you know, this was the only money I had to pull from, I would absolutely touch my sinking funds. I wouldn't want to, but for the situations that we have found ourselves in recently, I mean, sometimes, you know, life, it, it's just unavoidable. So I'm trying not to. And even when Olive goes to the doctor, I'm going to try and take that out of my Grubhub pay rather than dip into this dog fund. Because I've said this before, I, I really like the idea of saving and sinking funds. I don't like the idea of touching them unless I have no other choice because I want them to build up, especially the emergency fund. And I'm trying to build this up to, I wanted to get, let's see, my previous pays were 15, 14, and 15, 16 at my real job. So that's 30, 30 times six. I wanted to get that to, wow, 
um, I have a long way to go. So that would be $18,180 if I saved up six months of salary, of my own salary. That's a big number. Okay, so let's just do minus 1070. I have 17,110 to go. And you know what? That's okay because it's better to have a large number that you're saving toward than a large number that you're trying to pay down. I mean, we paid off well over, was it 34,000 or 36,000? I'd have to go back in my videos or look at my planner and look, we paid off two massive credit card debts and a lot of it was home improvement, but still those are huge numbers. And when you're paying it down, it takes forever. So hopefully now that we're going in the other direction and we're trying to save, hopefully that goes a lot quicker, but you know, it's just, these are big numbers and we just, we do have savings in the bank, but we lived off those for a while. Some of you guys asked me, in fact, I'll have to address this in my video that I do with him. What do we do with the money that my nephew gives to us? You know, because you guys don't see me putting it back into our monthly budget. And that's true. What I've been doing is paying ourselves back for the money we've used from our savings. And when I talk about my savings, I'm not talking about the savings fund that I'm doing here. I'm actually talking about our savings account in our bank, um, which I don't really talk too much about because I just don't think it's like that relevant for my channel. Um, I think that the money that goes in and out is relevant, but as far as our savings go, I just, I don't really address that. But I did have to pull from our savings several times over the past six months or more, um, just to, you know, make things, you know, happen. And so when my nephew gives us his rent money, which is 175 every two weeks, um, you know, even though he is costing us money as far as food and utilities and all that kind of stuff, I really try to just, you know, take it out of our regular stuff, our regular grocery budget, our regular, you know, bills and things like that for utilities. And I try to take the money he gives me and I just put it back into our savings because that, if that wouldn't have been there, you know, our regular savings, I don't know what we would have done. I, I really, and honestly, that is the truth. So that's what we do with the money he gives to us. And that's kind of the answer to that question. But I will talk about that again in the video that I do with him um, to kind of update his sinking funds and how he's allocating his paycheck this week. Um, but these are my sinking funds. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. That really helps my channel. And I will be back to do the cash envelope portion. But again, as you guys can see, just by looking at the length of this video, um, it just makes sense for me to do these separately. So I will film this um, immediately after this and I will see you guys hopefully in my next video. Take care.